by, by the integrand, which we call the x. That way I'll have dy giving me the integral of n x n minus 1 dx. And if I integrate this, I'll get y on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, to integrate, we increase the power by 1. I'll show it to you after doing this. In other words, we are supposed to obtain this again. We are looking for this, assuming we have started from here. So we'll get our n, if we are integrating, we increase the power by 1. So we already have our n here, x n minus 1 plus 1 all over n minus 1 plus 1. And what do we get? We obtain y as n, the x will now be to the power n over Negative 1 plus 1 is positive, is 0. So we stay with n. That n will cancel, and our y will be x to the power n. Now, assuming we have this, and it's what we want to integrate, assuming that, assuming that dy by dx is equal to x to the power n, I'm now giving you the general expression, this has taken us through. If we are integrating, we will always impose an integrand. Here we are integrating with respect to y, here with respect to x. Uh, this will give me that y will be equal to, we increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, which is n plus 1, and add a constant. This constant, we, we call it the constant of integration. I want you to take note of this, and I will give a quick one, that if y was x squared dy, and they want you to find y, we will get, impose integral signs, and we'll get y as we increase the power here by 1, and divide by the new power, and we get x cubed out of 3, we add a constant only if, only if, we do not have limits of integration. Only if we do not have limits. Why am I going there? Because uh, most of the work we are going to do today will depend on this work. Since I have chosen to, to refer you to this, I can still say this is calculus. If I had trig functions, I'll specifically use the one that I am going to use directly on the number that you are seeing on the screen. That if I want to differentiate, okay, to integrate this, which all of us know is the same as, which all of us know is the same as integral of tan of x dx, I need to be knowing how to differentiate. So as you saw, just in a few minutes, you, may, you must have noted that integration is the reverse of differentiation. Yeah. Just in case you have not seen uh, that one, we'll emphasize it later. So if I have a derivative of of course, I am not going to go into the details. The teacher that is handling paper one will probably highlight this in another lesson. But if we differentiate cos, we get negative sine of x. And if we differentiate sine, we get uh, the cos of x. Now, if we differentiate with respect to x, if we differentiate x, to the negative 1, which we could also write as d by dx of 1 out of x uh, here, we would get negative x to the negative 2, which can be written as 1 out of x, um, if it is like this, 1 out of x squared. 
But if we integrate, if we have a concept down here that you differentiate to get the numerator, if you differentiate cos, as you can see, to get sine, but this sign is negative, it means that if I am integrating this and I take it this and I take it to that position, I can say that the integral of this is similar to the derivative with respect to x of negative sine x out of, if I introduce the negative there, out of cos x. Now, should I impose an integral sign, then whenever you differentiate the denominator and you get, I'll put my negative here as well, so that this negative times this negative does not change my original question. So if whatever you have here, the denominator is differentiated to get the numerator, we interpret that integral to give us what we call natural integral. So we get natural or natural logarithm of the denominator, uh, the integral of tan of x is equal to the lean of uh, cos of x. So we shall use that approach to do our number, that if we differentiate this to get this, then the integral of this should be equal to the uh, lean of negative cos of x plus a constant. And uh, this also stems from this, that if I have the integral of 1 over x dx, since when I differentiate x, d dx of x is equal to 1, I'll say it's the same as the natural log of the denominator plus a constant, where natural log is ideally the same as the log to the e of x plus c. Now, in a, a bid to do the number that you see over there, that number was specifically chosen to give us the final experience on trapezium rule. It is a section bid number. And uh, I expect that with the experience we went through last time, we should be able to run through it very fast. They are saying using trapezium rule, the number is integrate from pi over pi over 6 to pi over 3, um, tan of x, the x. I told you to have your calculators, and I expect that we already know the format we have been using. So I will expect that when we reach uh, the table, you should be able to work through a little faster. We said that our d, which is the same as h, is the difference between the limits. Divide by, they are saying it has six ordinates. Six ordinates. And remember we said if n is the number of strips, it will always be equal to n plus one ordinates. n plus one ordinates. So since in the question we have six ordinates, it means we have five strips. So six ordinates is equivalent to five strips. And our D is equal to the upper limit minus the lower limit over the number of strips, which will be five. Uh, the LCM is six here. We can choose to multiply it uh, by uh, two here and by two here to make it a very common denominator, six. So I will have two pi minus pi, which will give me my D as pi out of six times five. So our D is pi out of 30. And now we can generate our table. We can generate our table. We are aware that we are looking for the area which we say is approximate. The other thing we should be aware is that since we are using a trig expression, our calculators must be uh, in the mode of radians. So I have uh, to let y be equal to my function, which is tan of x. And uh, I will have my x, I'll have my y here. This is our table. We are going to cumulate, 
Simulate the values of x starting from pi over 6. And at each step, we are adding pi over 30. We are adding pi over 30. So if we have pi over 6 plus pi over 30 for the next step, multiply 5 here, 5 here, you'll have 6 pi out of 30. Now, 6 pi out of 30, now it becomes easier because the denominator is common. Plus pi over 30, you have 7 pi out of 30. Uh, add on, you have 8 pi out of 30. Until we obtain pi out of 3. Add on, we have 9 pi out of 30. If we add on, we shall have 10 pi out of 30, which is actually pi out of 3. I am going to leave it like this. Um, I am not going to simplify this, but you are aware this could be written as pi out of 5 and so on for those that can be reduced. Then here, you are also aware that we are substituting in this. And I've told you, let our calculators be in radians. So with our calculators in radians, in this column, we need the value for that one and the last value here. And the other values will be here, 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 and here. Can we use our calculators and uh, substitute, um, make sure they are in radians? For me, I'll be fitting in the values as indicated. When you compute here, you'll get 0 0.57. Um, 5774. <clears throat> yeah, we will get 0 0.5774 here, and we will get 1.1.7. 1. 1. Uh, 3 to 1. Here, if you are already filling in these values, you are cross checking 0 0.7265, uh, 0 0.9004, and um, 1.1106, and uh, 1.37. Six, four. We are supposed to have the sum uh, of these values here. We are supposed to have the sum of those values there. And uh, I am not supposed to break that table, but allow me to put these sums here for purposes of, of follow-up. The sum, okay, let me fit them there. There is some space, but my worry is will you be able to see? I have 2.3095. And here I have 4.1139. point. 309 is a 5 here. There is a 5. That is for the other one. This is 4.1139. So to find our area, our area is approximately equal to our D out of 2, um, our D out of 2. Uh, into the first value, if it is that, plus the last value, plus twice into, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, so you can have y plus 1, y2, plus, plus uh, y4. So if I substitute, my area is approximately my d, which is pi out of 30 times a half, 
into my totals 2.3095 uh, plus plus two times the other total of 4.1139. Now, if you use your calculators, you should be able to obtain that area as uh, 0 0.55. One seven, but the question specified that we should present our answer to three significant figures, and therefore we can write this answer as uh, 0 0.552 at three significant figures. Now, this is considered to be the approximate value of area. The approximate value. It is considered to be the approximate value of area. Uh, I expect you to have captured this one. As you capture that, I can clear and we go to the next part. The next part of the question asks us to look at, find the exact value. We have got the value by trapezium rule. Part B, B1, we need to find now are the exact value. This is the approximate value which we need to keep somewhere. We'll keep this answer somewhere. The actual value or the exact value is got by integration. Direct integration. Fortunately, I have already said that if we are integrating our turn of x, dx, from pi by 6 to pi by 3, we shall get it are uh, being the same as the integral of sine of x out of cos of x dx. But since this sine is positive, I've said it is as if you are integrating the negative of negative sine of x out of cos of x dx. Because when we differentiate this, we get a negative. And now if I express it in this form, my negative cancel, so I'm still having the same statement, but I'm aware that when I differentiate the denominator and get the numerator, then it means that my integral is going to be equal to the negative. This negative will stay. The negative of the lean of cos of x, and I'll impose my limits to look for what we shall call the exact value of area. Now, some students may be challenged to use their calculators, but I will substitute in here and show you. My area is going to be equal to the negative. We can keep even this negative out. The lean of pi out of 3 minus the lean of pi out of 6. Now, when I enter in my negative, this one will become positive and this one will become negative. That implies that this is actually the same as the lean of pi out of 6 minus the lean of pi out of 3, when this negative is now incorporated in. And uh, uh, the good thing is, or the good news, uh, is that when my colleague was looking at some topic of physics, and uh, I am working with the same number of students, the same sample space. He told you that lean is the same as the natural log, the E. And uh, we recall, we recall that log A out of B is the same as log of A minus log of B. So if I am subtracting, uh, it's like dividing. But uh, to proceed, Use your calculators, uh, ensure that the mode is radians, and then you should be able to get the answer that we expect here as after substituting in, ah, sorry, there is something that I forgot to add in here, sorry, it is cos, sorry, sorry, sorry. Now, we have cos of pi out of 3, lean of cos of pi out of 6. Lean of cos, pi out of 6 now after entering the negative, and cos 
pi out of 3. Any slight mistake can land us in trouble. And uh, a good mathematics student or teacher should be able to notice there is a small mistake made there. Um, so if we use a calculator, we should be able to get the answer as our lean cos of pi by 6 minus lean cos of pi by 3 should be able to give us, when you substitute in uh, your calculator, you should be able to get a value that is around 0 0.5493. But they specify that we give our answer to three significant figures. So we shall round it off to four, uh, five, four, nine. Um, our approximate answer, I want to keep these values here, was 0 0.552. Our exact answer is this. We are going to the next part. They are asking us to calculate the error. Calculate the error. Uh, for you to understand this integration bit, uh, you may need another lesson on trigonometry, and that can only be provided uh, by the, the colleague doing paper one or respective teachers, but the approach that I gave, somebody should be able to help a student that is actually hard working to go to Backhouse 1 and uh, get these answers. Now, this answers part 2. Part 3, part 2 of B, they are asking us to find the error in the estimation. Error is supposed to be modulus. And it is given by the exact, the exact value minus the approximate value. It is a modulus. So our error is, usually it's a modulus because even if it is negative, we are expected to present it as a positive. So if we get our exact value, which was um, um, 0 0.549 minus 0 0.552, uh, we should be able to get the difference, um, which gives us 0 0.003. Now, this is our error, and we are saying that we must present it that way, that the error is going to be that. The last part, um, the second last part, they are telling us in this same part too that we should find the percentage error. Percentage error, let me do it here. Percentage error, very many students were asking me, how do they calculate the error? I am attempting to answer that question. Percentage error, therefore, can be given by the formula that we call error over the exact value times 100, times 100. It is given by the error over the exact value times 100, and the error is 0 0.003 over the exact value, which is 0 0.549 times 100. If you use your calculator, you should get a percentage. This percentage may be small, but it is valid. Uh, it will give you approximately... 0.546%. That is the percentage error. That is the percentage error to three significant figures. The last question here is asking that suggest how, suggest how the percentage error above may be reduced. 
I want to emphasize that the answer for part four, uh, part three of this number, I am not going to write it here. I will simply say that the error in any number, particularly in the trapezium rule, can be reduced by increasing the number of strips, by increasing the number of strips. They will use these words, strips or ordinates or subintervals. Notice that whenever we increase the number of strips, our value which we are using as D will be like A, like B, A minus B out of N. Now, if N is the strips. Whenever the denominator is very big, we expect this difference to be very small. And if that difference is very small, we shall definitely ensure that the error becomes much smaller. Um, I will, at this note, uh, say that we have come to the end of the trapezium rule. And uh, my dear students, I expect that even if the teachers at your respective schools don't teach this topic, uh, you should be able to approach any question by the horns and get the answers expected of you correct. Uh, what I would emphasize is that you should remember that the significant figure rule should be well known. Uh, you should know if they say three significant figures, what do they mean? And you should also know if they say, um, if they say uh, decimal places, what they mean. You will try out in uh, your free time this number uh, to help you acclimatize with that number. We move to, to the next part of uh, this lesson, and that is continuous random variables. Uh, our dear learners, I will summarize what you are seeing there. I will summarize what you are seeing there. We are looking at continuous I will abbreviate random variables. We are saying that examples of continuous random variables, we look at variables that change with the time. For example, we are looking at the mass in grams for a bag of rice, a bag of sugar. We are looking at time. It can be in minutes, it can be in seconds, it can be in hours, uh, given for an activity to be done, for example, an exam. We can look at the height in centimeters, in feet, for a child, for any, any object. And we can look at the lifetime in hours, for example, or years for a barob or for a battery to die or to get spoiled. Now, continuous random variables uh, is the general topic, but the topic we are going to look at um, as a sub is probability density functions. Probability density functions. Popularly abbreviated as PDFs. Uh, uh, probability density functions will require specialized knowledge in integration. The reason I had to first hint on integration at the start. It will require candidates to have very good knowledge of integration and to be extremely accurate when they are substituting. We are going to consider a continuous random variable x, for example x, that is specified by a PDF where our f of x is greater or equal to zero. The function must be greater or equal to zero for a given range of values, for a given range of values for which x is expected to be varied. Now the PDF can be specified by either a curve, and the curve should never be negative, or um, the range, negative. For example, we can have a curve that I will call f of x can be is equal to y, and the range is the range we have 
we already used two. Uh, this concept relates very well with the trapezium rule we have just finished. Our interest will be to determine the area under this curve. And we could use several methods, but we are going to use the integration method. Uh, if the range is AB, the sketch of the curve that should have appeared there uh, would look like this. We are saying the PDF can be given by the area, the shaded area, under this curve. For example, if you are interested in finding the, the probability of A less than X less than B, we shall say it will be equivalent to the area under the curve, area under the curve between X is equal to A and X is equal to B, if this is X. And uh, we shall look at it if we have a function, we shall just say will be equal to the area under the curve between the given limits, between the limits A and B. That will be the probability or the area under the curve will be equivalent to this probability. So we shall use that knowledge as long as we have a function. We shall use that knowledge to go over this work. We can move to the next, uh, to the next page, to the next page. So we are dealing with the PDFs. Summarily, we will say that, um, that if the P of A less or equal to B, uh, th that area that I've said, the probability of A less or equal to X less or equal to B is equal to, for this graph here, to the shaded area. I've emphasized that. And we have a few important general expressions. That one, if we are interested to find the constant, we shall integrate from A to B of the function given where the respect to X should be equal to 1 if we need to find the constant, the constant. It could be K, it could be C. Depending on the symbol they will use, they will tell you it's a constant. The other one is that the integral of, as I've already said, that if we want this probability, I could say the probability of A less X less equal to B will always be equal to the integral from A to B of F of X DX. And lastly, um, if the function f of x is greater or equal to 0, the function f of x is greater or is greater or equal to 0 for all values of x. For all values of x. The function, these are important guiding uh, conditions. That in a continuous random variable, it is not possible to distinguish between. That is the last one. If we are told, if we are told to find the probability of A less or equal to X less or equal to B, it will be the same as the probability of A less than X less than B. It will be the same as the probability of A less or equal to X less than B. It will be the same of the probability of A less than X less or equal to B. So that's why we are saying in a continuous random variable, the probability, even if they said the probability of X less than B, um, we would consider that the range given will always be considered um, the way it has been given. So for all those different indicators, as long as we have, um, uh, this is less, 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 even if I have a, a greater, a greater than X, greater than B, it will all be, they will all be considered to be the same um, 
um, in our attempt to find the probability. And that is considering two limits. In a summary, if we are considering one limit, the probability of x greater or equal to a will also be the same as the probability of x less than or greater than a and uh, will also be uh, equal to if we have the case of x greater than or equal to b, it will still be the same as the probability of x greater than b if we have only one value. So whether they change the inequality sign to a greater or to a less, uh, even if it was p, x less or equal to b, it would be the same as p, x less than b. Once you understand all these concepts, then you will be good to go. Um, like I said, I want to emphasize as we go to our first example, I want to emphasize that we need to have very good knowledge of integration, very good knowledge of integration, and uh, of course, we must note that the inequality used does not uh, dictate or change the probability we expect. However, as we shall see, uh, if they say A greater, depending on the range given, we shall be able to see how to interpret. Can we go to the first example? We can go to the first example. The first example says, I request that we move to the first example. First example. Okay. The example says that a continuous random variable we can go to another slide. The producer should take us to another slide where we can look at now the application of that formula. We have a function. As they prepare to highlight that function, I can write it here. Kx cubed, uh, 0, L square, and the range here is 0 to 3. Yes. Thank you very much for showing us that number there. This number has a constant. It has a constant, my dear candidates, and actually senior fives. This is not only senior six work. I want us to move straight away. We have said to find K, which they want, we shall consider the integral of the function given with respect to x from the range given, in this case, should be equivalent to 1. Should be equivalent to 1. And that means that the integral of k, x cubed dx, 0 to 3, is equal to 1. Remember I said, in case you have forgotten, let me go into this corner here and put that the integral of x to the power n, dx is x to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus a constant. Now that we don't have a constant, I can put a, b to show you what will happen. We put it into a, b. When we have limits, we don't put a constant. That is the general expression you should have somewhere if you have not done integration. Now, uh, this function is given like that. k is a constant. We pull it out and we integrate that from 0 to 3 is equal to 1. It will give us k into, when we apply the integral rule, we are going to increase this power by 1 and divide by the new power. So it will become x to the power 4 over 4. And the limits are 0 to 3. How do we substitute this in? Um, we simply substitute them in. Uh, starting with the upper limit. So we have our k into 1 to the 4 out of 4 minus 0 to the 4 out of 4 uh, is equal to 1. So our k into 1 out of 4, of course, because 1 to 
any power. It is only x that is to the power 4. You should not be um, confused there. Minus 0 is equal to 1. And this implies that k out of 4 is equal to 1, and therefore k is equal to 4. After getting this, it is prudent to conclude and rewrite our function as 4x cubed 0 elsewhere. Some books we reuse otherwise. 0 less than x less than 3 as our function. That is our function. And now we can proceed to look at the other No, there is a small mistake here. This x to the power 4, we put in 3, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, x is 3, sorry for that. x is 3, and therefore 3 cubed, 3 to the power 4 would be 81. 81. And uh, this would mean 81 out of 4k. 81k, and our k should become um, 4 out of 81. Sorry for the mixer. 4 out of 81. So this is our function here. This is our function here. And we are supposed to use, to use it now to go to the next part. Find the value of k, a is finished. Value of k is finished. And we have defined our final function. So they want us to find the probability for part. We are still on question one, please. My producer, we are still on that number. Don't go to the next page. Uh, find the probability that 1 is less or equal to, to x, less or equal to 2. Now that we already know that we will integrate from 1 to 2 over f of x, which is 4, out of 81 x cubed dx. This is what they want. Our p into 1 less or equal to x, less or equal to 2, is supposed to be equal to that integral. And when we continue to integrate, we can say we have 4 out of 81, the integral of x cubed, the x from 1 to 2. When we integrate this, what do we get? It's the same integral. So we shall get 4 out of 81 into x to the 4, out of 4, and our limits are 1 and 2. Our limits are 1 and 2. So if we substitute in our limits, we are 4 out of 81 into, now, 2 to the power 4 out of 4 minus 1 to the power 4 out of 4. This is where we need to be very, very steady. 2 to the power 4 is 16. 1 to the power 4 is 1. So we shall have 4 out of 81 into 16 over 4 minus 1 over 4. I am not going to reduce this because I am lucky that my denominator is the same. So I will simply subtract 16 minus 1 is 15. My p into 1 less or equal to x, less or equal to 2, would be equal to my 4 out of 81 times, when we subtract, we shall have 15 out of 4. And uh, therefore, this gives us 15 out of 81, which you can present also in the equivalent of decimal decimals using your calculator you can present your 15 divided by 81 either you can reduce it by 3 or present it in decimal form and when you are presenting it in decimal form we insist that you should present your answer to a minimum of four decimal places a minimum of four DPs. We shall go to the next part. We shall go to the next part. The next part is telling us 
and this is the part that I wanted you to watch. It is telling us to find P of X greater than 1.5. P of X greater than 1.5. Find the probability of X greater than 1.5. Look at our range here. We cannot now integrate from 0 to 1.5 because 0 is below 1.5. So we shall now integrate from 1.5 to 3. We shall integrate from 1.5 to 3. I want to assume that we have captured this part. I will, uh, and maybe clear off a small part. So if we integrate part C, we shall integrate from 1.5 to 3 of the function of 4 over 81 of x cubed dx. We are integrating that and uh, we shall have our 4 out of 81 out and we shall have that dx 3 out of 2 to 3. If I integrate this I'll get my 4 out of 81 into I'll get x to the 4 over 4. You are seeing it is the same old thing. Once you know the concept, then you are actually there. You are almost there. The rest is now substitution. We need to substitute. When we substitute here, we shall get 4 out of 84, 81 into 81 out of 4 minus. 3 to the 4 is again 81 out of um, 16 times 4. Eighty one out of sixteen times four. If we compute that, if we compute that, what does it give us? It will give us the probability that P is X greater than one point five will give you zero point nine. When you compute, it will give you zero point nine three seven five. There is another part. Ideally, once you master this, the rest should be, should be mathematics. Use your calculator and get there. P, X, greater or equal to 2.5. This is related to this one. That we shall start from 2.5 and stop at 3. So we are looking at the integral of 2.5 to 3 of our 4 out of 81, X cubed, the X. And uh, I will expect you to compute that. I will request the producer to go to the next slide so that my candidates can copy some questions. Go to number two um, so that you can have some numbers to try out. Go to the next slide in the remaining time so that the students can have some numbers to try out. Yeah, uh, when you compute that next number, x less or equal to 2.5. If it is less, less, uh, this is greater. Uh, the question is saying less. Less or equal to 2.5, it means you start from 0 and stop at 2.5. If it was greater or equal to 2.5, you start from 2.5 and stop at 3. But it was less or equal to. So you start from zero and stop there. If it is greater than that, you start from here and stop at three. Uh, meanwhile, copy that number two. And um, as you copy number two, I will use this opportunity to tell you that even when you have a situation, even when you have a situation where you have a further question, that gives you um, f of x, say, is equal to, you have cx, you have k into 1 minus x, and you have limits here, uh, 1 to 2, and you have limits here, maybe 1 to 3, uh, 0 otherwise, or elsewhere. You will use the same system, only that 
you will integrate from 1 to 2 of cx dx and add on the integral of k into 1 minus x dx equate to 1 and look for that constant. I want to wish you a nice practice. When we meet, we shall pick it up from there in our next lesson. I thank you and I wish you a good evening. God bless you. Eza sumera mudiro lio, lunako uwarero, uh, kukira dela kumacha. Tuwa galo kubanga tuwe wazawa nafe, uh, betutambula nabo, uh, wakugombe education services, uh, masumera gagomu lembo kukira dela kudekea. Uh, Toku tukira dela kusekendre, uh, tuwa galo kwe wazawa nafe, uh, Merani High School, wali Entebe, uh, nafe, uh, Green Hill Academy. Uh, Kuteka Nkumba University, betutambula nabo, kuteka na yaba nafe, uh, Big Pen, uh, Big Crystal Pen. Uh, we tutambula na bomu sumira mudiru liyo. Uh, kids uh, Kingdom uh, Schools. Uh, Deke ya nechinda gate ni waliye budo kwa tekana wali na mgongo. Butubera pulijo wana musumira mudiru liyo. Nuna kwa uruencha tujia kubatu kwa maonga pulijo. Sawa satu P7. Ate sawa nya uh, senior 4. Ne sawa muenda. Uh, senior 6. Butujia kubanga tukwa maotu kwa taganate. Nuna kwa uruencha. Tugenda mprogram roundabout. Ne jackstar. Mkasera kanuke njini. Jagada kukuba sigurida wano. Nimba gali zona kolonji. Saba saja kapaka, awangale. Somera mudiro lio. Nge wagidua Maryland High School Elisangi wentebe Sumeru liya bawala na balenzi Duso mesa arts and sciences Okuvile dela kusini ya soka Okutu kile dela kusini ya yomukaga Ngali sangi wa mchifechi wewe pobulunje Tuline bisule yomulembe Science Laboratory Sakoni Computer Lab Uwamune She gives you her number But your pen didn't work And the bus is gone Get a pen you can rely on Big Crystal, the long-lasting pen with perfect ink flow. Wamune. Green Hill Academy has high standards of learning and the teachers are very good. They give you a sense of belonging. Green Hill has helped me to discover my talent. The environment is good. Encourage our children to be excellent. Wamune. Kids Kingdom Kindergarten and Daycare. So many of you are to. Oh, Musan Direct Oh, Mwana Ogendo Kore Bibio. Ebiyo Kuzeni Sabi Abana Bio Namusi. Tumiri Na. Atenga Abana We Basa Nira Wagazinyo. Chukira. Security Enka. Amasomero Gunagari Mchukomera. Abasome Sabi Tumiri Na. Bakugu Mubana. Abana Tumali Sabu Njio Munang. Tumiri Na Main Campus Ebu Dona Galavi. Ngawa Kai Sabu Dona Junior. Maryland High School, Elisangi Wentebe, Sumeru Yabawala na Abalenzi, Duso Mesa Arts and Sciences, Okuvile Dela Kusini Yesoka, Okutu Kile Dela Kusini Yomukaga, Ngali Sangi wa Mchifechi Wewe Pogurunje, Tuline Bisule Yomulembe, Science Laboratory, Sakoni Computer Lab, Aba Somesa Bakfaba Tendeke, Moko Somesa No Kuvangula Baisi, Kuno Nga Tungira Kuno Kukule Mbeze Bitone, Katinu Gomu Zade, Omwana Umulete Mchifechi Muchoka, Echige Ndo Kumuya Moko Ngero Kunyikize Bibi Asoma, Elange Sumeru Lili Muryoka, Ye Maryland High School, Elisangi Wentebe, No Kumanyibisinga Wo you're waiting for the bus. A girl walks up. She is beautiful. Your eyes meet. But she has to leave. And your phone is dead. She gives you her number. But your pen didn't work. And the bus is gone. Get a pen you can rely on. Big Crystal, the long-lasting pen with perfect ink flow. Coronavirus is most likely to spread from person to person when we come into close contact with one another. Do not shake hands. Do not exchange physical greetings or hugs. Stay away from each other. No parties. No visit to people's houses. No restaurants. Use technology to communicate. Practice social distancing now to stop the virus from spreading. AfriCell, connecting communities. AfriCell is regulated by Uganda Communications Commission. Owangi Jibaliku, 
okuteko kusente lero munyoruka mutuka yo oli nya lift obo kuteko mapesa ga computer yo komulimu oina go kuteko mungalo oba kusimu yo enyini weta ga skin guard hand wash soap ne sanitizer lina kukatulu tunu yengalozo oziraba oyinzo kuwo kuteko chintu echili ko buuka ba corona virus kubanga buso bolo kwekwe kako okumale sawa nyingi nyo katino uli ya mauli ya malunji weta ga skin guard hand wash soap ne sanitizer mumikono jo mubibatu wakati wengalo na mungjala zo wekume ni skin guard wawe mama nyabonze obu sente wange bulaya e, manya takenze mamulese muzi ya techichi omwana wange obu sente wona babu tulideke nyonye mulese wawe abantu banji bafere tuwa atabanti Bawede mwesuri, uruwa bafira bababuza abuza Ukubafu ni emili mwama wanga gebulaya Kali nogwe mna Uganda aliyeyo Togwa mwesuri, uruwa batripai Overseas agency Uganda Limited Tutu alaba na bobu lenze bulaya Kala ya teno mwa aba na bobu wala Ebya mwebya atele deda Anti tuwa tuwa lila buwelele Ulina passporti, uruwa toina Kali nofe, tuina connection ize emili mwama wanga anga Dubai, Qatar, Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia Na mwala la manji nyo Tusangi mwama kinde lukuli Na nganda stay Uruwa tufune kusuri Simu, zero musambu, zero musambu Mkaga munana, kumi na muenda Zile mu, tulipai Overseas agencies in Uganda limited Beba kafuru, mkukuno nyeza emini memitala wa mayanja Okwe wala obokwe kumaka ukaka COVID-19 akalumi esiona Bino wa mangabia ino kolo kuzizo kusasana kwa kaka kano aka COVID-19 Nabe ngalongo kwe samazi ni saboni mbikade We wala kubela mbantu wa banji, kuli wawela We wala kuata mumaso, kunyindo, kumumua, ni ngalonga sinyonjo Kolola obanyi za musona ya kaka kukulako Uwa okuzisa katambala, uwa malizo kasule mudasti binio. Bufuna uwone ilo obulaga COVID-19, sigale waka okubile aba Ministry of Health. Kuzilo munana 00 emu 000 kaga mukaga, uwa kuzilo munana 00-20-30-33. Okufuna uwe yami, wabula bubo ya gala kuza uja internet yo Air Rock Telecom, kuza semikutu ya vege ya digitonga, Mastercard, Visa, Never Agent. Osobolo kuniga sita bili tano bili hash, sigale waka, sigala nga wekumi, sigala ku rock internet. Rock Telco Fine yafe. Kale, sawa za roundabout ama uli dorugambo ni kalibu li mwebali kutue yunga kuru na kuru alilo. Jemu sinziro tula bache mkula chaka binyo. Tu sinzira wano kumas, uh, kumasengere, okubanti tubawa, bionabi tubawa, nga BBS Telefina, ila goyandi etazo kubanga tutu kilira. Ene message, sponsors, marketing, mobilete, jangu wano kumasengere, gema kaga fe, wetu sinzira. Katusubia niti bulichimu chidi oke. Okay. Coronavirus, tuwe yonge nukwe kuma. Uh, we ti amura kwa atakumwa. Tunabe mungalo as often as possible. Uh, tuwe wali okube na mu before, eh, you know. Uh, tuliba anji tukipinge chiba hita social distance. Uh, yeah, so far, so good. You got a child lucky. Ntitetu nafisa. And uh, the number... Mwaba native, mwaba bantu, mwaba bantu, mwaba na Uganda, tena accumulating anyo uh, Na uli de reports is mwaba bantu, mwaba yunge, mwaba na Kenya, mwaba janebi moto kakari no Echitegeza anti mwaba na Uganda, tugeziza, kwe datuwe yunge, mwaba dara Na mwaba gamba, siko vramu, tasa mukono Kari, katu ingida una mauli, doruga mwone kari, bule binji nyo Evi agenze maso na ukuba uku weekend, binji nyo Evi vade ulu na kuruwa liru, nduza, obutaba luisa uh, katuta andikileo Katuta andikene mbozi yo mchala Sara Shoti uh, Sara Shoti yo mimi we guanga She's a short lady <laughs> Mwemua vaneri nya uh, Sara Shoti uh, I think she's the shortest lady That does good music Mchala singo bumpio kuyimba good music 
atera anga icho kubanti halimu mpi techa mulemesa kubako uh, kuyimbira bana Uganda kusharinga kirabu kya ina mukama kya mu icho kuyimba ne bana Uganda nayo mchalo ono je buvude ka bade um, asum asaba nyo bugambi tubalaze tu story nyinji omchalo ono nga asabo buyambi aine chirwade chimusumbu wa uh, you know uh, because of her height or, 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 you know her height echikula che uh, walwe birwadde bambi bibalumba abantu abe chikula bwe chityo a uh, enkize eno ruse tende walidwa a uh, obuzito obuveno wansi binji nyo eranga ibisere bisinga abali baba betaga some operation kalino ne omchala sara sotyaze nga atkubira enduru abakubira enduru abamzira kisaba muyamba soko asobora kufuna obujanjabi olunaku lwa lero mukulembeze wegwanga president yoweli kaguta mseveni nga ita mu msajja balam barugahare awaddeyo awaddo mchalo no buyambira na musubiza okumujanja bapaka bwanaona tujukire nti ayamba ko azayamba abayimbi president achikole dene sara shotindo za katsoke tulabe mboze no tuyoke tuyongereyo Now, 